Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Ghetto Rebellion, formerly Riot Girl Radio. I came across this video last night and seeing it instantly infuriated me to the point where I decided to do a deeper dive on this video and I am going to destroy every one of her little facts that she puts out there. So, before we start today's video, uh, two quick things. One, a, a big thank you to all my current channel members and subscribers. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you. Also, we'll be joined by a very special guest in this video. So, with all that uh, being said, let's enjoy today's video. Hey guys, what's up? This is Ghetto Rebellion, and we are at the Linderman Library in at Lehigh University in Lehigh County, PA. And uh, here we are, here we go. It's really, it looks really, really beautiful inside. I was gonna use my camera holder, but it's so big and bulky and I thought- Oh my God, who the hell cares? Maybe I should just, look how pretty these doors are. Thank you. Oh, thank goodness, it's so cool in here. Wow. Oh, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> no, this is not like my library in Bucks County. Well, of course, this is going to be something way fancier than you're used to due to the fact that this is a private library. The Leiderman Library is a private library owned by the Lehigh University, a private university. So unlike the county libraries that a lot of us are used to, and she likes to fraud it, this has the funds raised by alumni and donors and, well, in some rare cases, people who want to get their kids into this private university can pay for. Unlike the tax dollars that we have to give to our county libraries. Oh, wow, no way. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now I wish I would have uh, used my camera holder. <laughs> this is so awesome. And look at the ceiling. Very cool. That text bubble is just so, I mean, I'm gonna need our historical correspondent and our special guest for this video, commentator auditor, handle this one. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you guys read that right. She believes that the actual fucking United States was just starting out in 1877. Funny, um, 1775 is when we started the Revolutionary War. And since then, we've participated in 21 wars or conflicts as the United States. Uh, the Quasi War, the Tripolian War, the Indian Pelt, uh, Belt Affair, the War of 1812, First Seminole War, uh, Sultan Sumatra, Black Hawk War, Texas Revolution, Second Seminole War, Aristook War, the Mexican War, Third Seminole War, Bleeding Kansas, Mormon Expedition, Civil War, War with Korea, and Apache Wars. She is a fucking moron. Fantastic reporting as always. Please, guys, I'll put a link down below so you guys can subscribe to Commentator Auditor's channel. He puts out shorts that are just phenomenal, and he's a great friend. So, send him some love and subscribe. And Alright, let's look around. Ooh, yes, I want to go up these spiral stairs. <laughs> Let's see what's up here on the second floor. I'm actually afraid of heights, so I have to be careful. <laughs> I'll just fall right off. And it's a library, I can remember being quiet. Wow, look at this. It's so cool here. 
Yeah, I'm calling shenanigans because that's not the right cost of enrollment here. If you would actually go to their website, you can get the information. But we'll address that later. Kai, I want to go up again. Kai, here we go. I'm not sure how to go live while I'm recording because I've never done it. But you guys would probably like to see this. It's really neat. Okay, so we're on the top floor. Sorry, my phone keeps ringing because it keeps saying I'm at the library. I had to get directions to walk here. It's a really, really... You know, for someone who frequents libraries, you would think she would know to put her phone on vibrate or silent mode instead of, well leaving it on full volume to disrupt people who are here at this university who are paying a lot of money to further their education. But no, this is not about others. This is about her and her First Amendment audits. Big campus. Yeah, no problems about the camera here. No one cares because it's all kids. And we're at Lehigh University, the most expensive university in Pennsylvania, so I'm pretty sure- You're lying! Yeah, I'm gonna have to call shenanigans on that because you're not taking into the fact that Lehigh University is a private university, not a public uh, state school. Now, if you would do a simple Google search, and look that the tuition rates for most state schools fall within the $10,000 to $20,000 ranges. However, Lehigh University is not the most expensive school in Pennsylvania. That honor goes to Franklin and Marshall College, where, with the information I got dating to the 2022-2023 school year, has an annual tuition and fee cost of $65,844. Huh. It's like if you only had something in your hand that could give you that same information. Do they know our constitutional rights? More books, more room. Huh. Group study. Look at all these old books. Now this is where I need to study the law. This is where I need to find law books so I can start <laughs> representing myself. I can't believe I got a lawyer. I am so excited about it. So yeah, this is it. This is law. Okay, there is just so much stupid we need to take down here. But you have a lawyer to represent you for what? A Fourth Amendment violation? What Fourth Amendment violation would that be? Would that be from your last arrest when they searched your car for inventory when it was impounded because you were arrested for disorderly conduct? That wouldn't be a Fourth Amendment violation. That has been determined by many a case law. However, if you want to represent yourself pro se, we're all supporting that because, well, that would just make you a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dumbass! Library. Watch me drop my phone and break it. This $1,400 phone in my hand. <laughs> Maybe I should use my camera holder. Sorry for the interruption here, but uh, you just said you spent $1,400 on a phone. But yet, you owe $1,750. That's $1,750 to the courts because you have outstanding fines and fees. Because I remember that video. That's where you did that whole speech about they violated your rights and they searched your criminal public record. 
again, a public record, and found out that you had fees, and you cried that you couldn't afford it, so they put you on a payment plan where you can pay as little as 5 to $10 a month. But yet, you've got enough money to drop down over 75% of that fine. So yeah, this is beautiful. It's all hardwood floors. Oh, it's just awesome. I lived at the library when I was growing up. I was raised as Jehovah's Witness, and I wasn't allowed to do anything. I wasn't allowed to have friends that weren't ones. I wasn't allowed to do a lot of stuff, so I kind of lived in our library. It was the only place I felt free. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? That statement she just made about Jehovah's Witnesses is totally wrong. Yes, there are some believers that believe that they can only be truly friends with those who follow their faith. But it does not mean they are not friendly and cordial to people. I've actually had many a good friends who were witnesses. And, well, they're some of the finest people I've ever met. You are totally being ignorant to the fact that some people tend to try to encourage people with love and compassion instead of ignorance. But yeah, this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And it's nice and cool in here. Okay, let's go down and we'll explore the uh, ground floor. Maybe we could look up some law books and uh, some stuff on the Constitution while we're here. I'm going to be making some jump cuts here. Due to the fact that she's going to be talking about her brand new phone and how she can zoom in and people can read stuff now. I feel that's not necessary, but let's laugh at some stupid stuff that she does and, well, point out some more stuff she's wrong at. Then I'm going to put an apartment back here. Oh my God, there's a freaking fireplace. Can you imagine? Yeah. I feel like I'm at, like, I feel like I'm at Harry Potter's. Harry Potter school. <laughs> That's how cool this place is. Now I just need these uh, candlesticks to light on fire when I hit my wand at them like Harry Potter. <laughs> Very cool. Can you imagine coming in here in the winter and there's a fire on? Oh my. Well, I guess the old saying's true. Ignorance is bliss because you're as blissful as an ignorant idiot can be. Do you honestly believe they would have an actual function fireplace in this library where there are very rare and very delicate books that could be damaged from just simple smoke being lit from a fire. I don't think they would risk tomes that are possibly over a hundred years old just for a simple fire. That's clearly decorative. And well, you're being a bit of an idiot. I'll show you what it looks like outside because it's really, really cool. This whole area, this whole campus. You're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. When you walk outside the library. Turn left onto Library Drive. Oh my God, it's still giving me directions, my phone. So look around, this is it. This is Lehigh University. This is a library you get. When you pay, I don't know, 80 grand a year for school? <laughs> this is what Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Now it is time to address the issue that we have with the text bubble from earlier, where she referenced that it cost 80000 to come to this school. That's not the case. If you actually go to the Lehigh University website, it will tell you in black and white that the cost for the 23-24 academic year is only $61,180. That is not including scholarships and is not counting grants. However, Ghetto Rebellion, or whatever she wants to call herself, is misleading all of her viewers. This is not the most expensive school in Pennsylvania. We have figured that out with that being Franklin Marshall College. But why would she want to lie? 
is it that she's making stuff up or does not want to actually do any real research? What you get? It's awesome. It's so awesome. It just goes on forever. I could walk and walk and walk forever. Woo! And it's 90 degrees out. All right. I am on to my next place. I just wanted to show you guys this library on my... Oh, we're not done with Ghetto Rebellion Idiot here. We're going to actually see more of her other audits that she does in this video. Because she provides us with three, but I'm only covering two. So, let's see the second audit. And what leads up to it? Here we go. University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Study abroad. <laughs> hey, I'm going around asking people, do you guys know what um, the First Amendment is? What is it? Is it fraud or ripoff week? First, Long Island Audits steals your idea to go to a pen dot because, well, he saw you got arrested there and he knows he could turn that to a good few views for him. But now you're ripping off Asamo and Whisk Boy when they would go around asking people about, do they know what the Third Amendment is? But you're replacing Third Amendment with First Amendment. Come up with an original fucking idea. Is it that you guys are so adept at being idiots that you can't come up with original fucking concepts of the constitution <laughs> do you know what first amendment auditors are on youtube no no we go to government buildings like libraries um, post offices city hall and we go in recording because it's our first amendment right to do so mm -hmm. and um sometimes they call the police sometimes they don't so I figured I'd just go around and see, like, who knows what, if anybody knows about it. You don't. I wanted to do it at the high school, but obviously those kids are too young. And I What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So you're trying to fraud at schools now. You guys can't handle the fact that, well, your numbers are dwindling because nobody really wants to risk their freedom for your buffoonery and shenanigans. I mean, it doesn't end well for your other compatriots who have audited schools. For example, Katie Kidman, or Betty Buttcrack, she audited an elementary school in a, in a school bus depot and was arrested at both places. So, what makes you think you would have any better luck trying to fraud at a high school? And I want to address something else here. Why are you trying to manipulate these people? Some of them who are foreign exchange students into getting into the life of a frauditor. Look how beautiful. Study and intern of that. Is this student by chance? No, I'm a design major. Uh, so these programs are just. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I still have a upper respiratory infection, but I'm not contagious anymore, so I'm okay. Oh. What the fuck are you talking about, man? You just said. You have an upper respiratory infection and you're coughing in a big group of people? Did you not learn anything from the last four years? If you are sick, you shouldn't be in big groups of people. And this is a private university. They have satellite campuses around the world that they partner with so they can do research on different things and help people get a better education. Why are you there? Trying to fraud it and make yourself look relevant? I, I got the whole, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm new to this whole thing. Um, I'm trying to get the Welcome home, you're white where you belong. Thank you, yes, get a rebellion forever. But uh, yeah. Let's address that new name of yours, Ghetto Rebellion. What re what are you exactly rebelling against? The only thing I can see you rebelling against is common sense and logic. But the other part of your name, Ghetto, are you, are you familiar with the definition? Because it states, a poor urban area populated by minority or minority groups to be segregated. 
Are you trying to imply that you are living in the ghetto and that you are a segregated or minority group? Because that's not the case. You just said you live in Bucks County. And in Bucks County, the annual household income is $139,736. Why, the menial household income is $96,406 per year. Now, factor in that you're in Levi County, and Levi County uh, uh, menial household income is $67,587 as of 2021. The average household income is a total of $92,849. The per capita income is $37,725. You've said that you've been in the suburbs a lot doing your audits. So what it means to tell me is this. You're not from the ghetto. You're trying to use that as a banner or a rallying cry to make you seem like you are less fortunate or poorer than you actually are. And why would you do that? For sympathy? Because I honestly believe you're doing it for clout. Yeah. Maybe we could go into the church. Maybe they'll let us film in there. I don't know. Let's try. No, don't like that. Try it. I don't know if they'll be happy about all my pride stuff here or not. We'll see. We'll see. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness and I've never been in a real church before in my life. Packer Memorial Church entrance given in honor of Michael Bear Wood by his parents, Mr. and Mrs. M. Wood, July 1984. I'll have to look up what that is and why. Look at these doors, oh my God. Nope, oh yeah, it is open. Congratulations. You have reached a new level of depravity for frauditors that I never thought I'd see. Unlike most of the idiots that like to fraud at churches, like SVG, Casey Camera Boy, Nasty Nathaniel, and the list can go on, they've never gone inside to film the church because it's private property. You are on private property filming a church for what? What does this have to do with the First Amendment? Yes, freedom of religion is important, but this has nothing to do with your freedom of speech. Oh, it's not real cold in here. It's kind of hot. Whew. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And I'm the only one in here. Wow. So this is what a real church looks like? Oh, wow. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Oh my God. I've, this is my first time in a real church. This is amazing. This is beautiful. And, yet and now you're being a blasphemer. Great. I mean, Jehovah's Witnesses do have their own churches or temples or whatever they want to call them. But they are standalone buildings where people come in and worship their beliefs. You're making a light of everyone's religion when you say stuff like that. You've never been inside of a real church before? I mean, you know how insensitive that sounds, right? I can talk regular because I don't see anyone else in here. Oh my God, why don't they have air conditioning though? It's hot. Oh, this is amazing. See, this is exactly what I needed before I uh, go deal with police. I need to do some serious soul searching as to why I'm doing this and what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, dot, 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 yes. Because getting arrested shouldn't be part of it. It really shouldn't because I'm not doing anything wrong. Just why Are you serious right now? You're not doing anything wrong. Well, in every one of the videos that you've been arrested in, you violated either a court order or a state statute or law. Like when you were at the la your last rest, when you were being disorderly, 
when you went in there causing a panic and an alarm, causing them to shut down, and then telling the cops that as soon as they leave, you're going back in and doing it again. That's what got you arrested. And your arrest in the Allen County Courthouse is because you violated the court's order for recording. Walking around with a camera like I am right now. I'm so glad I got this phone. The picture is amazing. It's so much better than Apple. I was really scared to switch, but um, I made the switch and I love it now. I got the Samsung 23S Ultra, so it's like a tablet and um, phone and camera in one. But yeah, I'm not sure like what you're supposed to do. You don't know what you're supposed to do. Well, for starters, that is the sanctuary and altar area. You need to get your ass off of there right now. That is a sacred area to be held with respect. You using it to make your little YouTube video for clicks and views is disgusting and appalling. And why are you even in that church to audit it? Do you have no shame? Do you have no sense of self-respect? Uh, um, all the veterans who are disabled, you're in my prayers. All the addicts out there who are still using, you're in my prayers. I love you guys. And I'll have 11 years sober this year in October. But I know there's so many of you still using. And I remember what it was like. And I remember how hard it was. But you could do it. You can. If you need help, please reach out to my channel, Ghetto Rebellion. And I'm going to get on my knees here. And I'm going to pray. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? Oh, everyone is. Wow. Just wow. You used our disabled veterans and people suffering with addiction and that altar as a prop to plug your damn channel you have sunk to a fucking new low I can't believe you did that you know if you really wanted to offer help to somebody who's struggling with addiction maybe put up some resource numbers maybe provide websites that can help them get the help they need not plug your damn channel. It's in my prayers. I love everyone. And um, I'm really glad I got to come in here and see this. I hope that um, God blesses us all, huh? Black, white, gay, straight, female, male. This is all of us. It's we the people. And we all need help desperately. I don't know what to do about any of it. So I'm out here. I don't know. Beautiful, beautiful church. Amazing. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I got a little emotional in there. It was my first church. If you thought that was bad, wait till you see this. You wanted to know? So here it is. What does Ghetto Rebellion eat when she's done auditing? A big ass slice of real pizza. I don't look around, I take real bites. Mmm, look at that. Look how good it is. It's real. It's real pizza from from the city. They don't mess around here. Neither do I. I take real bites and I eat like a man. Mmm. Wow, what a charming woman. To eat like that and to act all hard and tough like you're from the hood. When you're really from the suburbs is just baffling. But we're in the video here. Her levels of disrespect and disdain for people and sacred places like that church has reached a whole new low for frauders. She set the bar so low that if one of them would just not audit a church for a week, I would find impressive. But if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Also, don't forget to stop by Commentator Auditor's channel and send him some love for 
helping me out with this video and being a part of it. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. A special thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you.